Welcome to TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. We're back with Elon Musk. Elon, thanks for being with us again. Absolutely. A little bit about Tesla. You guys are kind of more a dot-com car company than a traditional OEM. Tell me a little bit about the thinking behind that. Well, I wouldn't characterize it so much as a dot-com company as we've got a lot of expertise uh, that, that's high-tech and a lot of expertise that comes from the automotive business. And we kind of meld the two together to try to create a fundamentally different and new car company, kind of a car company of the 21st century. Recently, you guys discontinued the wonderful Roadster, and now you're going to be doing the S, which right. looks fantastic. Is there ever going to be a point when we just walk in a showroom and see five or six different models? Yeah, absolutely. It is important for Tesla just to be really focused on the Model S. We need to bring that to market. It's vital to the company's future. I feel very confident that we will deliver the first cars to customers by no later than July of next year. Before that, we will unveil the Model X, kind of like an SUV. That's slated to start production uh, end of 2013. And then we'd like to bring out a new model almost every year. When Tesla came out with the Roadster, it was just revolutionary, beautiful. No one had seen anything really yeah. like it. And now everyone's doing electrics. And so you guys have this S coming out in a pretty different environment than you originally launched the Roadster. How is this going to stand out? Uh, first of all, I wouldn't say everyone's coming out with electrics. I actually wish all the car companies were doing electrics, but, but not all of them are. Okay. And some of the companies that are doing electric cars are actually doing it in partnership with Tesla. So, for example, we're making the electric Grab 4 where Tesla's doing the powertrain. That's coming out next year. With Daimler, we've done the Mercedes A-Class and Smart Car. There may be some other deals that, that we can announce in the future. I wish that the whole industry was moving towards electric vehicles okay. um, at much faster. In fact, the, the, the reason I put so much time and effort into creating Tesla is, is, is to serve as a catalyst to accelerate the transition to sustainable transport so we can really minimize the damage to the environment and minimize the economic harm of rapidly rising gasoline prices. So what's next for Tesla? I mean, you guys have a, a great collaboration with Toyota right now. Does that look like that's going to be the business model, or are you guys just kind of learning from that and then breaking off and, and becoming a dominating force? <laughs> well, we're going to do both. We're going to do cars ourselves, and we're also going to continue to do cars in partnership with other car companies. Our overarching goal is just um, to accelerate the progress of sustainable transport. Are there any uh, sales goals for the S that maybe you could share with us? We anticipate sales of at least 20,000 units a year. Now, our first full year of production is 2013, so that's when we're anticipating achieving that, that, that okay. level. Hopefully, it ends, the demand ends up being even higher than that. Yeah, that sounds fantastic because on our very first show, we had a chance to go up to Palo Alto, drive right. around in the Roadster, and we loved it. So Yeah, thanks for doing that. Yeah, well, we wanted to know if maybe you, have, you could pull some strings. I hear you <laughs> know some people over sure. there. Maybe get us into an S. Uh, um, you know. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure we could arrange a special sort of test test ride and, yes. and show on the Model S, absolutely. Love it, awesome. All Thank right. you so much again. Absolutely. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me.